Hi there. Welcome to Conversations with Nancy and Cheryl. I'm Nancy. And I'm Cheryl. And uh, we've been chatting over the last several um, videos about um, disassembling our lives and reassembling it to um, move us into a new direction or new visions. And one of the things that um, is kind of collateral damage, <clears throat> if you will, of that disassembly is the issue of friends. And what happens to longtime friendships or friendships that were part of one part of one's life and moving forward into the next? I think then we start really defining friendships. Mm -hmm. You know, we have our situational friendships, which work friendships seem to be. Right. Yeah, those, yeah, those are situational friends would be like your soccer moms. You yeah. know, you went through sports together with your kids. Or the people you've worked in in the right. office who you get along with every day, you share all sorts of mm -hmm. daily things, even about your family, mm -hmm. your troubles and everything. And you may take trips with them, you may But when share. work leave is right. over, you know, those relationships for the mm -hmm. most part mm -hmm. go by the wayside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as do most neighbors. Mm -hmm. So there's very, there's very few people in life that do become good friends and have the stickiness factor and that can go through several iterations. So I guess it begs the question, how sticky are you? Hmm. Yeah. Or how sticky do you want to be? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and how many sticky friends do you want? Right, right. <laughs> but but it does, you know, as, as friends move on, and I've had several of my very good friends move out of the area, and you've moved when you moved from Sacramento down here, mm -hmm. that you've got, you know, some friends that you've known for a long time up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, and do they really, are they really there, and they may be in your life forever, but are they are they part of that new vision and part of that new life? You know, it, it's so interesting because we were talking about this and um, I think what happens, I have some friends that I've been friends with for years mm -hmm. and years and um, we get together, but what do we talk about? We talk about what we did years and years mm -hmm. ago. You know, it's more like you said, right. looking back. Um, however, one of my old friends, an old roommate, actually has created this new... Um, way of keeping connected, which I think is so clever. She indulges herself with a bubble bath every night and for an hour. She has a big luxurious tub and she gets into the bubble bath each night and she calls five nights a week um, a group of five of her close friends. One every night. <clears throat> One every night. night. Video chat. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't Skype this. Um, and has a, a about a 45 minute conversation mm -hmm. with them. And so my night's Thursday. Oh, I'll be doing and, it. Or no, is it Wednesday? I don't know. She calls me, so. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes I'm available and sometimes I'm mm -hmm. not. But what it has done is we, instead of being, talking about old things, we right. are beginning to create new things mm -hmm. that are going on in our lives and sharing mm -hmm what's going on now mm -hmm. and um, I think it was just a really brilliant yeah, I, idea. I, I think then there's a couple of things. One is it does keep it present. Mm -hmm. You are sharing your, 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 your day or your, your what's going on in a more current and more frequent um, mm -hmm. activity and she's reaching out mm -hmm. and I think oftentimes when friends change there's some we'd like to carry forward but either we are not reaching out or mm -hmm. they don't reach out. Right. And, um, and she's also making a specific yes, time. That's right, and an effort. Yeah. And uh, and I just think that's really critical and, and uh, because I think as we go through, as we go along, it tends, our, our worlds tend to shrink. You know, maybe our work environment's gone mm -hmm. or whatever. And we, I think we need to make an effort of, of making new friends and finding new people to share and our vision and our new experiences. Sometimes people don't move forward because they're worried about who they're leaving behind. Mm -hmm. So this might be a way um, but like you always say, hold loosely. Um, like Lynn, when she calls me, there's a lot of times I'm with patients, I am in meetings, mm -hmm. I am unavailable. And I've said to her, don't give up, right. just keep calling. Right. You know, Not that night, but the next week. Don't mm -hmm. give up just because three weeks in a row, mm -hmm. I can't make the mm -hmm. connection, you know? Mm -hmm. And I do try and call it another time, but if, it, if we don't, She's been, she's understanding, it's never any of the, well, I'm sick and tired of calling you. Oh, and, but, uh, and you don't know? you find if you call somebody and, or you have, the first thing <clears> they'll <throat> say is, well, it's been so long, I haven't heard from you. Yeah. It sure doesn't well, end. Well, glad to know you're not dead. 
Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm so glad I called. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if somebody does call and reach out, don't start the conversation it, that way. Exactly. And, and, and be grateful for those who do call and be reach receptive. out. receptive. Yes. Be receptive and also reach out on your own. If there's somebody you haven't talked with in a while, call. If there's somebody new, call them, invite them to coffee. You never know where that may lead in this new assembly of mm -hmm. a new life. So, and if you want to chat with us, just get online and look at our videos. That's right. And send us an <laughs> We're email. We're always there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. So until next time, I'm Cheryl. And I'm Nancy. Bye now. Bye.